Today my topic is the process of oogenesis that is oogenesis which occurs exclusively in female gonads that is ovum. The process of formation of ovum or mature unfertilized egg from the germinal epithelial cells in the primary in the ovary is called as oogenesis. The primordial germ cell pass through three phases to form ovum. Now, the uh, oogenesis is occurs exclusively in females while spermatogenesis occurs in males. Now, this is the diagram of oogenesis. Here, the ovarian cells undergo uh, multiplication phase, uh, which is a mitotic cell division to form number of eight mother cells, ovarian cells. Pass two, then four, then eight. Likewise, then the uh, the eight mother cells of ovonia enters into the second phase, that is growth phase. In the second phase, the ovonial mother cells becomes primary oocyte. The primary oocyte is somewhat larger than the eight mother cells of ovonia. Then the uh, primary oocytes enters into the last phase, that is maturation phase. The maturation phase consists of two divisions: the first maturation division and second maturation division. The um, Mm, maturation division, the first maturation division is unequal forming a larger and a smaller cells. The larger one is called as secondary oocyte and smaller one is called polar body. The uh, secondary oocytes then undergo second division which is simple a mitotic division they to form a mature ovum and a, uh, another smaller uh, cell that is called a second polar body. In the maturation phase, the diploid primary oocyte form haploid mature ovum and polar bodies. The polar bodies at later disintegrate and the mature ovum forms the fertilized egg. Now this is all the diagram about oogenesis. Now let's discuss about the first phase that is phase of multiplication. The phase of multiplication, the primordial germ cells which is haploid that is 2L divide by repeated mitosis. I have told you in the diagram producing a large number of cells called ugonia or egg mother cell. It is diploid. These are the ugonia or egg mother cells. It is all a diploid. Then the second phase. Second phase, the phase of growth. Each ugonia enters into growth phase. It is longer than the spermatogenesis. That is, that means the time of growth phase in ugonia, oogenesis is uh, longer than the time taken in spermatogenesis. The ugonia are now curved oocytes out of which only one enlarges to become primary oocytes. The primary oocyte is also Deployed. During this phase, the size of the primary oocyte enlarges, nucleus also becomes enlarges. Next, the third and last phase that is phase of maturation. The phase of maturation, the primary oocyte enters the last phase that is the phase of maturation during which it undergoes two successive divisions that is first is meiotic, di meiotic division. The first is meiotic division and the second is mitotic division. There are two successive divisions, first, first division and second division. Here, this is, this is the maturation division. The primary oocyte undergo on the maturation division, that is first division and second division. First division, it forms secondary oocyte. In the second maturation division, it forms mature ovum along with polar bodies. Then the first mitotic division are incomplete. Since in both divisions nucleus divides properly, but division of cytoplasm is not regular. That's why one cell is larger and other is um, smaller. These are not in equal size. On the first meiotic division, the diploid nucleus and primary oocyte divides to form two haploid nuclei. The, then forms two haploid cells, that is n number. The smaller one is called first polar body, and the larger one is called second second polar body or secondary oocyte. Called secondary oocyte. Uh, sorry, this is not second polar body. This is second oocyte or oocyte. 
during second division the secondary oocyte divide mitotically to form second haploid daughter cells that is second polar body and ootin or ovum the first polar body may or may not divide to form second polar bodies the polar bodies disintegrate later on thus the oogenesis uh, in the oogenesis one primary oocyte gives rise to only one haploid oot ooted and two or three polar bodies depending on whether or not first polar body undergoes division but in case of spermatogenesis one primordial germ cells gives rise to four spermatids which by the process of spermiogenesis form four sperms but in case of oogenesis one primary oocyte gives rise to only one haploid ooted the phase of accumulation of all the purpose of accumulation of all cytoplasm with its young in ootin is to provide the necessary food for the embryo that will develop from the fertilized egg this is guys this is all about the process of oogenesis in the next video i will tell about the structure of egg and the other things Thanks for watching and bye.